Okay, let's go to node stop and rent a minimal server that we will run. All right, we go to services, order new services, and let's look for a cheap minimal server. So we want at least 12 cores, so we're going to choose this one right here. And we will pay with crypto. All right, let's check out. All right, so the order has been placed, but we still need to go to the client area to pay the invoice. Let's click on our invoice and we'll just click pay with crypto. Use crypto mus. Once our transaction is confirmed, we can go back to node stop and we should be able to go to our services here. Now we have an active service, but we still need to set it up. Okay, so we can go to the control panel And we still need to set this up. So I just hit a random name for the server. Optional. Okay, now this is important. We're going to choose at least Ubuntu 22. 24 will work as well, but we're going to use 22 because I know for a fact that that works. Um, we're not going to add a key. If you know how to do that, you can. Okay, let's install Ubuntu to our new server. Are you sure you want to install the server without any... Yes, install without. For the sake of simplicity, um, we're not going to use a, an SSH key, but you can look into that yourself if you're curious. That is the safer way to go about things. Okay, beautiful. Our server's now running. And we should be able to log into it. All right, so once your server once your server is running, you will get an email and we're going to use this we're going to use these server details to uh, log into our server remoting in with ssh is going to look different on every operating system so i'll show you how to do it on ubuntu here uh, for the sake of the tutorial but you will need to ask claude or chat gpt how to do this for your particular operating system like Windows or Mac, but it shouldn't be too hard.
right, we are in. So let's download the latest version of the arbitrage bot. Okay, this wget command. After that, we need to install screen and unzip. Okay, so let's unzip our zip file. So we should now have the directory. Let's cd into the directory. Okay. 